Hello guys, and in this video I'll be creating a simple volume. So what I've done is I've attached two discs to my system, each is of 1 GB. And I'll be creating a simple volume on that disc. So I could use the command line tool that is the disk part, but for this exercise I'm going to use disk management. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my windows icon and if I do a right click here, it says disk management. I'll just click the disk management. And if you see, uh, what disk management does is, as soon as it starts, it scans for any new attached drives on the system. So as you can see, it's picked up two disks, that's disk 1 and disk 2. Now, before I can use a disk on a system, it needs to have a partition table. So I can write a partition table either with MBR or GTP. Uh, if my disk was over 2 terabytes, I'll be using GTP. But since they're just 1 GB, I can use MBR. So I'll just do OK from here. Let me just open this bit. Yeah, now you can see the two disk, disk 1, disk 2. And it's in black. And you can see a uh, small icon says unallocated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple volume here. And that's going to be my primary partition. And do remember, on a disk, I can have four primary partitions, or three primary partitions, one extended. And on that extended, I can have as many as I want logical drives. So I'll do a right click here. It says New Simple Volume. I'll click the New Simple Volume. I'll do Next. Now here it says, you can see it says maximum size is 1021 MB and the simple volume size, how much do I want it? So I'll just give it space of 100, 100 MB. I'll do next. Now here it's saying what letter do you want to assign it with? Uh, I can assign, I'll just write, I'll just give it A. And do next. Now here it's saying what for, uh, partition do I want it with? Windows used to use FAT32 but nowadays NDF is is more common so I'll just leave it the default that's NDFS I'll do next and he says it says successfully completed and it just gives you a small output of what I've done and I'll do finish here you can see it says a new volume with 100 MB the partition NDFS healthy primary and I can check this let's check it if it's picked up my system's picked it up I'll go on this PC and you can see it says new volume A that's 99.9 .9 MB so that's we created a simple volume now if I go on my right click I can open that option is open explore the option to extend the volume and shrink the volume so first let's extend the volume I'll do next now here it's saying uh, the total available is uh, 121 now let's extend it with say 50 MP. I'll do next and next. As you can see, now the disk is 150 MB. I can just recheck that if I go on this PC. You can see that it's 149 MB of my new volume is 149. I can shrink it if I want. You see, it's enter the amount of space to shrink in MBs. I can shrink it with 20 MB. I'm left with 130 MB now. And the option of add mirror, delete volume. That's the properties I want. If I go in properties, and you can see it says the general information is here, the use uh, space, the free space is here, file systems and DFS type local disk. But different tools in properties. Error. I can check the errors. Optimize it. Backup. Hardware. Sharing. Security. Most of these op all options are in my properties. So guys, that was to create simple volume. Thanks for watching.